So Robin, <clears throat> we have the Hoyo Lab bulbs from Honkai Star Rail. And uh, yeah, let's just look at these. I'll just, you know, check me out on my streams on YouTube and Twitch uh, if you're interested. But I was playing Pure Fiction earlier. Trying to do 40k on the first stage with her and Imeko. And I tried to do it with Ruan Mei and Sparkle. And I think I can do it. But he's just like, I'm gonna have to try a couple times. And I wasn't bothered to do it. But then I thought. Because of the advanced forward for everyone. Like. I feel like that's gonna be pretty good for both her and Himiko. So they can go crazy in pure fiction. And she's also physical. Which a lot of enemies are in that as well. So yeah, here is our premium physical harmony. Uh, now I just wonder if it's gonna be like an all around there, or like both dot and crit DPS, or if she's just gonna be like for crit DPSs, because she's gonna increase that crit or something. Um, but yeah, let's read. So, Robin, of course, everyone knows who she is by this point. Uh, especially being, being if you're if you have been on Twitter, that's been fun. Oh yeah, cool. Hello, Trailblazers. Today we're we'll bringing you a character preview for Robin. Harmony, Harmony physical. I can increase the team's damage through Concerto. Activating Concerto can allow the entire team to take immediate action. While Concerto is active, additional damage will be triggered after allies attack. Okay, so it sounds like Ting or well, Ting Yun dies with an addiction. Additionally, after analyzing their attacks, Robin additional generates energy. Okay, so the someone else attacks and she gets energy as well. Uh, yep. Okay, just some things. Oh, this is what she looks like on her phone. Bro, her head looks weird. Okay, traces. When the battle begins, this character's actions advance forward. Well, there you go. One mic is useless, so... Screw you, all everyone that says to farm one mic. You don't need it. Uh, don't don't farm one mic, it's not. Especially if you like free to play. It's so bad. Um... Because you can, uh, you can zero cycle one one mic, trust. You don't need one life. One in the concerto state, increase all allies crit damage. Dealt when launching follow up attacks. That's crazy specific. That has to be like a hundred percent crit damage increase. <laughs> For that to be like war. Wow. Really? Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised. Because like people were saying that she's gonna be the follow up support. But I was thinking just because she's gonna like she's able to buff everyone. So she can like support dual DPS teams, which most of follow-up teams are. So that's why I for people saying that she supports follow-ups, because they're dual DPS teams. But no. He just support follow-up attacks. Straight up, okay. And we need a skill addition of Gen's energy. Cool. Then trace materials. We're using this old one, but we're using this new one, IPC War Permit. Cool. Idol animation. Okay. Her technique. So, I mean, I mean, this is just Fush One's technique, which just looks different. Um. Yeah, basically they can't attack you to engage combat uh, after a team. But if you enter while well, you have an active, kind of like, you know, push ones. Robin regenerates energy at the start of each wave. Only one dimension created by allies can exist at the same time. Now what does that mean? Are they specific to me? What dimension? Oh, 
Okay, so if you have another technique that creates a dimension, you can you're gonna have to choose either or. So no Fushuan. Who else does like a dimension? No one else. It's only Fushuan, right? So yeah. Okay, so they're like low key telling you to not use Fushuan with Robin. Okay. So I'm pretty sure if you have Fushuan and Robin, you will go in with Robin's dimension, not Fushuan's. So what that means is that you're gonna take a couple da some damage, and if she's not faster than your DPSs, you're not gonna be able to get the sh knowledge up to get a crit rate. So then she's not that worth to be there. Or like the first, you know, turn, basically. Interesting. Wow, that's crazy. Deals physical damage. Okay. Talent. Increase all allies crit damage. Okay. Also after allies attack enemy targets, Robin additionally regenerates energy for herself. Okay. Sure. Then the skill. Increase damage dealt by all allies by a certain number of turns. This duration increases by one. At the start of Robin's turn. Okay, so that's like Ron Maze. Wait. That's just Ruin May. Why well, should I give you like break efficiency and all that? It gives you damage. <laughs> okay. Cool. Because, I mean, I'm not gonna say anything, but I might have seen something where it says that hypothetically this number of turns is free. So I am literally Ruin May. Uh, the ultimate. Robin enters Concerto and allows all others to really take action. Okay, so 100% advance forward for everyone. Robin enters Concerto, increasing all allies' attack based on Robin's attack. What? After every attack launched by allies, Robin will add additional physical damage based on her attack one time. Okay, so again, that's like Tingyun's Benediction. The crit rate and crit damage for this damage have fixed values. That's crazy. Think you got power crit. Ain't no way. While Concerto is active, Robin is aiming to crowd control. Before Concerto ends, Robin will not enter her turn and cannot take action. Countdown for Concerto appears on the action order. When a countdown starts its turn, Robin will exit the Concerto state and immediately take action. When the countdown starts its turn. Interesting. Hopefully this isn't like some Jing Yuan situation. Or that message, but it doesn't seem like it will. Because most of her buffs are passive anyway, she doesn't really need to do anything. Other than like do her ulti and then that's it, boom. There's your buff. Yeah. She. Okay, so you don't need to with crit, because it's just fixed, right? So, if you get lucky, you get lucky. If you don't, you don't. You just build attack and like. Just the normal like defense, but it's like Tingyun. You build like exactly what Tingyun looks like. Uh, yeah. But so, so you know there's like all of this like, oh, regenerate energy when your allies attack. And then the tracer she has like regenerate additional energy. Like... Is this like a spamming your old thing, or is this just like a, an Argenti, like million energy cost thing? Well, yeah, we will have to see. Uh, I haven't watched any of the like early access videos because I don't like watching that. I rather just figure out myself. 
Uh, and uh, you know, I don't want to experience this firsthand. I don't want to watch someone uh, basically kill the enjoyment for me. But yeah, the follow-up support, Topaz ratio. Here we come. But the problem with Topaz ratio is that they're still gonna have the same issue that they do. Is the issue is that their weaknesses fire or imaginary. No one has that. Like two enemies in the game have that. And like Robin is not gonna fix that. So yeah. But Topaz Ratio is not the only team though. The same echo hurt and pure friction. That's where she's gonna go crazy. I can't wait to use her in there. And then get 40k on each side and I get my first 80k pure friction clear. Uh yeah. Cause uh, I may try to get 80k anyway with our Robin. Because I think I can. But anyway. That's gonna take some trial and error. Wait, oh yeah, Robin looks sick. Cannot wait. Oh, it just depends on how big these numbers are, which I'm guessing they're gonna be pretty big. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if she gives like 200% crit damage to your follow-up, right? And then like 100 to your normal attacks. And then she gives like attack. She gives. Just straight up damage percent, which is always good. And she does like her own attack. Now, with Ting Yun, the Benediction buff, right? That can be kind of neglected sometimes, because we miss Ting Yun can do a lot of damage. Uh, but I wonder if it's going to be more than Ting Yun. This con concerto state. And because this concerto thing has like a fixed speed, you still you need to build it really fast, basically. That's what I'm getting from this. So okay, just like another thing you sparkle, bronia, whatever, right? Casual things. But I can also see slow Robin. Actually, you know what? I think it may be slow Robin. Like you have a slow run, may. I know you just built slow run me for the zero cycle purposes, but I think for this, it's like legit. Just slow Robin. Because again, she doesn't do anything with a turn. You just cast your skill once, and then to get the damage thing going on and old and then that's it let's like just let your dps go okay cool it's gonna be interesting i'm bummed uh, it didn't make me change my mind on anything i'm just surprised on this though chris crit damage deal dealt when launching for attacks that's crazy that number is big that's gonna be big so yeah Cool, now let's look at this. Michael. Maybe this is gonna give us more insight into like what she does. So let's see. Light cone, she's looking nice as always. Yeah. A lot of attack, which is good. Uh the word gains one stack of cantillation every time when any ally attacks. A stack of cantillation because the wears Okay, so 15% ER. When the word uses their ultimate, removes cantillation and gains cadenza. Cadenza increases the word's attack by 48%. And the team's damage dealt by 24%. Now, am I capping or what?
You know, I think I'm cooking with a slow robin. I ain't gonna cap. Especially when this light comes. And then there's also Tengu. If you could use this. But the thing is that Dance 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 exists. So like... Mm. I don't know. Oh my god, and this light cone. Boundless Choreo. Okay, there's also like normal four star stats. Increase the work. Now, hear me out. Does this... Does this power creep world slide cone? But if you S5 this... How do you get this? But it's a gacha light cone though. It's on the... Uh, it's not gonna be that hard to S5. I think this at S5... Will go crazy. Because most are like 16 crit rate and then 48 crit damage. I mean... I want to mess with like 100 crit value. Just for free. And sword play, perfect timing. Yeah, this light cone looks good for the healthy. Well, for Welt and Acheron, that's about it. But yeah. Brad, this light cone, though. What? I wonder how big the damage percent she gives from her skill is. Because I wonder if that, like, if it's a lot, then you put this on top, then you can double, like, your team's damage, basically. Or something like that. Hmm. But yeah, cool. As I said before, still excited. I'm definitely gonna pull her. I won the 50 50. I'm kind of poor right now, but yeah. Okay, indeed. I wish you the best of like on your polls as well. And yeah, make sure to do all the good things. You know, follow, subscribe, check me out everywhere down in the description. And yeah, I'll see you next time.